This is Kevin, and I'm going to be walking you through the basic setup for configuring a simple access point using one of our M-series devices. In this example, I'll be using a Pico Station M2. The first thing I want you to notice is the tab right to the left of the main tab with the Ubiquiti symbol on it. If your device does not have this tab, please download and upgrade your firmware to the latest version. The first thing we want to do is click on the Wireless tab. By default, the Wireless mode is set to Station we're going to want to change this to access point mode. The SSID is the name of your network. This is what users will see when they scan for wireless networks available in their area. I'm going to change this from the default of UBNT to Kevin's AP. My country code is the United States and the IEEE mode will always be running in BGN mixed mode since this is a 2.4 GHz device. Now I need to change my channel width from 40 MHz to 20 MHz. Most laptops, cell phones, and iPads do not support a 40 MHz channel width, so you're going to need to make sure that you do change this to 20 MHz if you want those users to be able to connect. We're going to go ahead and leave channel shifting disabled, and by default my frequency is set to auto. You can also specify a frequency that you want to use if you prefer. For my example, I'll be leaving it in auto. If you don't want your users to enter a password, then you'll need to change your wireless security at the bottom of the page. If you don't want them to enter a password, you can leave the security at none. For my example, I'm going to be using WPA2 AES security. You'll enter the password in the WPA pre-shared key box. So now when users connect to my network, they'll need to enter this password if they want to be able to join the network. After making these changes, you'll want to click the Change button at the bottom of the page. You'll notice that it has Test, Apply, and Discard at the top. Since we click the Change button at the bottom of the page, it will hold these settings as we move between tabs, so I'm not going to apply these settings yet. The next thing I'm going to do is click on this Ubiquity tab right to the left of the main tab. This is another important setting if you're going to have users connect with laptops, cell phones, or any device that is not an M-series device. AirMax is proprietary to our M-series devices, so if this was enabled, only other M-series devices would be able to connect to the network. So I'm going to disable AirMax. You now want to change it. Click the Change button on the bottom of the page again. Next, we're going to move to the Network tab. For our network mode, we're going to leave this in Bridge, and Disable Network we're going to leave as None. For your network settings, by default, it's using a static IP address. This is the IP address of the Pico Station M2. You want to make sure that this IP address is not an address that's already being used on your network. I happen to know that 192.168.1.20 is unused on my network, so I'm going to leave that at the default setting. The net mask, I'm also going to leave the default of 255.255.255.0. The gateway IP address is going to be the IP address of the router that you're plugging the device into. My router is already set to 192.168.1.1, so I'll be leaving this at the default value. For your primary DNS IP, you're going to want to enter the same IP address as your router, which is the gateway IP address. If you don't know any of these settings, like if you don't know what IP address to use for your device, or if you don't know the IP address of your router, alternatively you could set these to DHCP. If you use DHCP, then the device will pull an IP address from the router that you're plugging it into. If you do this, the IP address will change, so if you want to access this ROS page again, you'll first want to download our device discovery tool from our website so you can access the device again. That's all the settings we need to change on the network tab. So now I'm going to click the change button. And now I'm going to apply these settings. At this point, you can now plug the device into your router and you're ready to go. Thanks for watching.